Meals on Wheels in Abilene is still calling for donations and volunteers. Our Kevin Clack explains the safety precautions they're taking and just how easy it is to knock on doors and deliver food for your elderly neighbors. With upcoming donations lost. We've had other committees working on fundraisers further into the summer. We've had to cancel those. And volunteer numbers declining. Because university students didn't return after spring break. And then a large number of our older volunteers don't feel safe delivering and they're taking a break. Betty Bradley, executive director of Mills on Wheels in Abilene, is asking for help on all angles. We've got to have money to pay the bills so we can buy food, pay the staff, so that we can actually send those meals out. She says, by all means, take the precautions you need to. But they are taking precautions of their own to ensure the safety of their volunteers. We're limiting the number of people that come into the staging area to pick up their meals to 10 at a time. With probably more free time on your hands than what you're used to, Betty says volunteering is the perfect thing to do. You walk in, get the route you go on, and the food you'll deliver. And you'll leave here with those and go out and knock on doors and meet some really neat people. And with over 1,200 people fed daily by Mills on Wheels here in Abilene, there hasn't been a better time to try and make a difference. In Abilene, Kevin Clack, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. Now there are also masks and gloves available to give to volunteers, but supplies are limited.